Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. Another collection update. Uh, was going to put this out last week, and then I just didn't have time to record anything. Um, so I finally have a quick moment to get this get through this. Um, so just working through a backlog of stuff that I've gotten the last week and a half. Um, a lot of tapes, a lot of CDs to get through, uh, and then only two vinyls. So the vinyl is probably going to drop off a little bit for these next couple of collection updates. I haven't been buying as much as I would like to in terms of vinyl uh, and in terms of pre-orders and stuff like that have been coming out. I've been getting CDs and tapes because there's pressing plant uh, delays and just vinyl is not going to be released until some at sometimes like September I'm seeing. So I've just been getting tapes and CDs uh, unfortunately. So I, I might start doing um, might start doing uh like back discography buys uh, i just have to decide on what i want to get so we'll see anyway let's get started all right so the first tape i have to show is from frozen screams imprint uh if you're not familiar with frozen screams uh, please just stop watching this video and go to the band camp and listen to all the bands that are on there because last band camp friday which was a couple of weeks ago uh, he dropped like five or six new releases all phenomenal um, and I'm slowly, slowly getting through those and pre-ordering what I want. But uh, this one, I just got this this week, so I've been kind of kind of excited to get it. And this is the new, well, I wouldn't say new, but it's, this is the repress of Involtation. I believe is how they say their name. Uh, this is Unconquerable Death. Uh, so this is a compilation tape that was put out of their two full lengths that are currently out. So uh, it's a band from Ohio. Um, so each side of the tape is a full length album. So you get your money's worth. Uh, really nice blue pro printed tape. Um, death metal band, of course. Really, this is really, really good. So if you're not familiar with, with Involtation, definitely check this out. Um, I immediately was not familiar with them. Um, I guess they did a self-release uh, of the one of these albums, I believe, or something. Uh, last year was extremely limited. So Frozen Scream has picked up uh, these two and printed them on one tape so that's pretty cool like i said you get a lot for your money uh and it's really really good so uh really good i love that so you can kind of flip the j card it can either be this one or it can be this one so one album is uh unconquerable death and then the other one is i forgot <laughs> the compilation is called unconquerable death let me find the album names really quickly um failing guys i had it in my head and then I forgot. Oh, Wolfstrap, that's right. So Wolfstrap and then Unconquerable Death. So that's the two albums on here that you get. So I love the artwork on here too. So Frozen Screams, uh, I've got a lot of cool cool releases. Uh, Weeping is the one that I recently just pre-ordered. Uh, that's on tape and vinyl. They're doing a collab with Night Shift merch. So, and that vinyl is really cool looking. So definitely check that out if you haven't. So this is really good. Next up is band that needs absolutely no introduction, so I don't have to talk that much about this. Uh, Coffins, uh, this is the Life After Death press that just came out. Uh, their second full length, The Other Side of Blasphemy. Um, Japan, Coffins, uh, do I need to say anything else? So like I said, I got this through Life After Death. They put out this pressing, really, really cool. Red tinted, pro printed tape. Um, and I think, I think there still might be some available. I, I don't know. I pre-ordered this, so I've had this coming for a while. So Coffins, just awesome band. I pretty much love everything that they put out. So I think I now have the first two releases on my on tape. So slowly working through their discography. They have several out. I think there's like three or four or five albums they have out. They have quite a bit of stuff out there, so. All right, the next thing that I got is off of Life After Death's distro. He got a bunch of stuff in from Sewer Rot Records and two things that I didn't have and I've been wanting for a long time and they've just been sold out and hard to find. Managed to get this one, completely missed the other one, so I was unfortunately unable to get that. So someday, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, anyway, this is Phantom Crawl with Spellbound Suffering. So this is the second EP that has been released by this one man, Death Metal Machine. Uh, this is really good. Uh, out of Canada, Toronto, I believe. Um, and like I said, this is their second EP. Um, the first EP, I'm not even sure where to find it yet, um, but definitely I'm on the hunt for that. Really awesome yellow tape. I really 
just for some reason the the tape aesthetics on this go really really well so i really really like the j card on this this tape it just the artwork in the yellow just looks sick together so i love the like brick behind the artwork um does it say who did the artwork uh yeah somebody who i'm not familiar with gut slaughter uh oh, there you go and pause it and read who did that so really really good like I said this came out in 2020 I think it came out last year um, and I've been on the hunt for it for a while I was hoping there might be a repress or something so they must have found some that made available for a distro and I snagged it so these are sold out by the way so life after death doesn't have any more of these um, all right and the final tape is a split that of course I grabbed as soon as I saw it go up for pre-order uh, is Rotting Grave and Leprophiliac with, I'm not going to try and pronounce it because it's in a completely different language, <laughs> pretty sure that's in Spanish. Uh, so Rotting Grave is from Mexico and then Leprophiliac is from Spain. Um, Rotting Grave only have another EP out, so I familiar, I'm not really, wasn't too familiar with them. Uh, Leprophiliac, as you guys know, I love, I have other splits, they have a full length necrosis out. Um, so this is on Goat Throne Records, and I think he still might actually have some of these. Um, and both sides are, are phenomenal. Um, just really, really good. Uh, side A is the Leprophiliac side, or sorry, the, the Rotting Grave side, I can't read. Uh, they have two songs, and Leprophiliac also has two songs. Uh, so really good split. Again, Leprophiliac is definitely one of my favorite bands at the moment. And then the Rotting Grave, like I said, I wasn't too familiar with them, but love the songs that they have on here so awesome awesome jay's card too so yeah go throne records um and last i saw there were still a few available but they could be sold out by now but as always i will link the band camps and everything where i got this from all right so moving on to the cds uh these three cds i got all of them from everlasting spew um they had a major sale going on that was like 25 percent off or something like that and I picked up a couple of things. So two things are Everlasting Spear releases and one thing is not, but it's one thing I've been wanting in my collection for a while. And for whatever reason, it was incredibly hard to find in the States. Um, and I just didn't want to pay the shipping to get it in on tape or anything like that. So I saw they had it available and I was like, you know what? It's heavily discounted. Like I think I got it for an insane price and I just, bit the bullet and paid for the shipping and waited it out so surprisingly i got these like a week later which is impressive so good job guys um so first things first eternal rot with uh i'm gonna say this so wrong putridarium i think is how you say it uh so this is their second full length that came out last year um eternal rot is just this filthy death metal with doom in like elements into it really 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 good band uh I think they're mostly out of the UK, but they also might have some members in uh, Poland, I believe is what I was reading. So, but yeah, uh, Mark Riddick did the artwork for this album. So admittedly, that was how I know about Eternal Rock, because I think I saw some sort of like a, a promotion or something that, that was going on. We're like, hey, Mark Riddick did this artwork. And I think he might have actually did the artwork for their first full length too. I, I might be wrong about that. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. So no glare but you know that amazing mark riddick artwork that is just awesome so the booklet is just you know the pictures of the band and lyrics and then some more artwork right there so but the thing that i love the most about this cd is the actual cd itself like that just looks so cool so and then the back so really good album um i really like this band a lot um and I need to get their other full length, so I need to go on the hunt for that and see where I can get it. Uh, that will be the cheapest route for me, but this is really, really good. It's, it's just filthy, so filthy sounding, which is is, is good. Um, but yeah, check this out if you have not. Eternal Rock, such a good band. Um, and Liam from the Death Doom Metalhead uh, has talked about them on there. And I just, I feel like the more people I see talk about them, I get excited about because they need a lot of love. They're, they're so good. Like I want them people to, to listen to them more. Um, so the next thing I got from Everlasting Spew is just such an interesting album cover. Uh, this is Goratory with Sour Grapes and 
yes, that is testicles. Um, so this is their uh, full length from last year, I believe. And they have three other albums out. A uh, band out of the US, I believe Massachusetts is currently where they're from. Just crazy, chaotic death metal. Uh, it's just, it's so good. It, it's so different from some of the stuff I listen to. So it, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting change. Uh, so this is called Sour Grapes. Um, so yeah, I feel like I don't need to really go into detail about this. I've seen a lot of people talk about this on their YouTube channel. So finally have this in my collection. I've been eyeing this for a while. Um, and I know that there's a vinyl and stuff like that, but I just, I just snagged the CD. So good stuff. And then the final thing that I got from Everlasting Spew is a release that came out this year. Uh, and the tape is on Caligari, I believe. And then the CD is Everlasting Spew. And this is Taurus Ebernia, I think is how you say the last name. Um, just really interesting. So it took me a couple of listens to really be sold on this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's different, but it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, it's just... Yeah, it's really good. Uh, so I, I, it's hard to explain. <laughs> I just feel like you had to listen for yourself. Um, it's it's different. It's not like the cookie cutter death metal. Like they definitely have an experimental vibe to it, but it, it's it's good. And I'm definitely sold on it now. Uh, the band is from Italy and I think they have a couple of members or a member that is also from the US. Uh, so yeah, like I said, the tape is on Caligari and then the CD is on Everlasting Spew, like, it is, it is really good. Like, this is, it's an EP, so, and I don't think they have anything else. They don't have anything else out yet. There's no other full lengths or anything like that. This is the first thing that they've released that, I, that I've seen and that I know of so far. Um, I think this is going to be on a lot of people's radars, and I've seen a lot of people talking about it already, and it's, it is very, very good. Like I said, it just took me, like, two listens to really really get into it, and it's one of those things where I kind of had to be in the mood for it, but now that I'm in the mood for now that I got moved forward, I bought it. Like, I'm glad that I got it. So, really good stuff. So, those are CDs. And then finally, two vinyls that I've been waiting a long time to get. I, I don't know why it took me so long <laughs> to to get these, but I finally, I finally just broke down and did it. So, Relapse just recently repressed all of these albums, and I've I've got them all now, I believe. Um, so, at least the ones that they've repressed. So, yeah. Uh, and I just, I love this band. Um, and there's a whole reason why I love this band. It's because uh, you'll know why. Yeah, gruesome. Uh, so this is Twisted Prayers, uh, gruesome death metal band, California. Matt Harvey from Exhumed. This is his other project, his death metal project. Uh, this is their uh, second full length uh, that came out in 2018. Uh, so like I said, Relapse just repressed these. Uh, so I finally snagged them after sitting on it for a while. So kind of cool green splatter there. Um, just really good. Yeah, Grissom's a really good band. Uh, I just, I, like I've said this several times, there's nothing Matt Harvey can't do. Everything he touches just turns into gold. Uh, and this album is really good. The inner sheet's just lyrics and then some liner notes. Yeah, so again, I feel like Grissom doesn't really need much of an introduction, but I just love that album cover. It's so good. Yeah, and I just, the classic band photo on the back. So yeah, as far as I know, Relapse still had these in stock. But if you can't find them on Relapse, Discogs, like cer several record record uh, stores on Discogs have them. Like I've seen a Vinyl Alter, Vinyl Con Conflict, all that stuff. So they're around, you can find them. And then obviously the second one I got is their first full length, Savage Land, classic classic album came out in 2015 that other one was 2018 so and then they're also repressed their ep one of the eps that i showed in a collection video update several weeks ago so this one is also colored there's the back um yeah this album just kicks ass these both just i love this band this band is so good one of the one of the one of the better modern death metal bands to come out uh and like I said, they're from the U.S., so. But yeah, that really cool like splatter stuff. So, really excited that I have these on vinyl now. Um, just a great band. So yeah, like I said, you can find these pretty much 
I mean, they haven't sold out from what I've seen, and I know that like even Amazon has them. I don't, Amazon sucks. Like, don't don't buy through Amazon if you can avoid it. But if you absolutely have to, uh, they're definitely there. So, those are my two vinyl pickups. That is all that I have for this collection update. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. As always, um, I will probably put out a couple more videos this week as as I have time. Obviously this is pre-recorded because I'm wearing the same clothes as I was yesterday. I did that on purpose because I finally had time to sit down and record videos today. So I'm trying to pump out as much as I can. So thank you guys for all the support. Uh, let me know if there's anything in here that you've heard that you love. If there's anything that you picked up after watching this video. I always, I always love, love hearing that. So thank you guys and have a great week.